Hi hey folks, welcome back to our 8.1 video on law of signs. We are in part two, where we're going to take a look at some examples. All right, so part two, we're going to take a look first at this example number five, and we're going to consider this case where we have, we call AAS. All right, so what does that even mean? I think it's always beneficial to start with a diagram, right? So when you're doing your quizzes, please make sure you draw a diagram so you can show me that thought process, all right? So we'll even build it in here. We've got diagram as our very first step, okay? All right, so I don't know what the triangle looks like, but I'm just gonna draw a non-right triangle, all right? So here, here, here. All right, and I'm just going to label them A, B, and C. Remember, A and B and C, the capital letters, the uppercase letters are angles, but the lowercase letters, little a, little b, little c, those are all sides, all right? So if we go back to our color coding, we've got our angle, 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 and then we've got our side, side, so let's label the information that we have from our problem, all right? So I know angle A is 36 degrees, and angle B is 48 degrees, and little a is 8 feet. Okay, so if I look at the information I have, okay, I'm going to undo the highlighting for the moment, and the, if we look at the information we have, I have an angle, the angle next to it, and then a side, okay? So the order in which I said these letters, A, A, S, is actually really important. Angle, angle, and then a side. And what's really important to notice is this side is not between the two angles, all right? Let's make that really clear for ourselves that the side is not in between our given angles, all right? That side is not in between our given angles. So we've got our side over here. We've got our angle over here. We've got this angle over here. And these words solve the triangle. Let me just scroll down for a moment. Mean that at the end of the day, what we want is we want to find angle A. We want to find angle B, angle C. So we want to find all those angle measures. And then we also want to find out how long little a is, little b is, and little c. Okay, so I really need to find out where or how long the sides are and how big the angles are. All right, that's what it means to solve a triangle. All right, now one of the things I like to do is I'll take the given information and put it right into my table right at the beginning. It makes me feel a little bit better because it makes me feel like I've actually started the problem a little bit, but it also helps me understand what it is that I need to find. Okay. So we know from this problem that angle A is 36 degrees. We know that little b is 48 degrees. And we know that little a is 8 feet. Okay. Now, one of the things that we might remember from way back when is that if you have a triangle, you have 180 degrees. And if I know two of the angles, the third one has to be the measure that makes all three of them add to 180 degrees, okay? So here's what I like to do first. Find missing angle if possible, okay? Now, sometimes it's gonna be possible, sometimes we won't be able to find it yet. We have to be patient, all right? So angle C is gonna be 180 degrees. 
minus 36 degrees, minus 48 degrees. We calculate that out, we get angle C to be 96 degrees, all right? So you got two angles, find that third angle right away. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and put it down in my little table before I forget, 96 degrees, all right? So that's not bad. So far, I've got three angles and one of the sides. I just need to find the other two sides. All right, so what comes next? Now we're going to use law of signs to find our side wicks. All right, we're going to use law of signs to find our side wicks. And so what I like to do is set up the law of signs and just plug in the numbers that I have and then see where I go from there, okay? So I have sine A over A equals sine B over B equals sine C over C. Let's fill in the numbers we have. We get sine of 36 degrees equals eight feet which equals sine of 48 degrees over little b, which we don't know, equals sine of 96 degrees over little c, which we also don't know, okay? So let's go ahead and move this up here. All right, so we've got our general equation and then with our plugged in number. Now, the nice thing about law of sines is I don't have to use all three of these at the same time, all right? So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say, let's find B first, okay? I'm going to grab this pair of fractions, sine A over A equals sine B over B. I'm going to use that to solve for B. Then I'm going to take my A pair and my C pair, set those equal, and then solve for C. Okay, so let's work that out. Sine 36 degrees over eight feet equals sine of 48 degrees over little b. All right, got a fraction equals a fraction, so I can go ahead and cross multiply. B sine 36 degrees equals eight sine 48 degrees. Last thing to get B by itself, eight sine 48 over sine 36, okay? Now, I want to see this work on your quizzes, on your exams. I want us to get used to that idea of not having to plug everything into a calculator right away, okay? This, when we type this in and then we round, then we'll get the exact values. And I bet that's also what the My Open Math assignments are looking for, okay? So type this into the calculator. Let's go to three decimal places. We should get 10.115, and we'll put units on it because we want to make sure we've always got those units, all right? So I can put in my answer box my lowercase b, all right? So now let's go ahead and follow a similar process, but we're going to grab the A and the C pairs to find little c. So sine 36 over 8 equals sine 96 over C. Cross multiply, C sine 36 equals 8 sine 96. Divide by the sine 36, and we get 8 sine 96 over sine 36. And if we plug that into the calculator, we should get 13.536 feet. Okay, put that into our answer box. And now we'll zoom out to a whole thing on one page. We have solved the triangle because we found our all the sides and all of the angles. Okay, all right. Let's take a look at another example. It's gonna be a different case. 
case of angle side angle, right? So this time we want to note that the side, right, the side that we are given is going to be in between the side, the angles that we have. Side is in between. given angles, right? Side is in between given angles. And we're gonna follow the same three steps, all right? Step one, we're gonna draw a diagram. Step two, we're gonna find the third angle if we can. And step three, we're gonna use law of signs to find the missing side, all right? So let me put my information in the answer box below and then draw my diagram. So <clears throat> angle A is going to be 35 degrees. Angle B is going to be 25 degrees. Angle C, I need to find, right? Little A, I need to find. Little B, I need to find. But little C is 68, All right? And what units did we use? Inches, so 68 inches. All right, let's get our diagram. All right, so I've got my triangle. All right, A and B and C. This is 35 degrees, this is 25 degrees. Let's see, this is little b, little a, and little c equals 68 inches. And so here, maybe we can see a little bit more clearly what I mean by the side is in between the given angles, right? I have an angle here, I have an angle here, and then check out what is right between them is the side that I'm given, okay? All right, now. Let's go ahead and find third angle. And I know I can because I have two of the angles, all right? So angle C equals 180 degrees minus 35 degrees minus 25 degrees. And when I subtract all of those together, what do I get? I should get 120 degrees. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put that down here, 120 degrees. All right, let's use our law of signs to find the side length. Use the law of sides to find the side length. Let's just fill in the information that we have, okay? So we have sine 35 over little a equals sine of 25 over little b equals sine of 120 degrees over the only side length I was given, 68 inches, okay? Now, I'm gonna find the sides. I have to find little a and little b. And I can do something similar where I use the c pair to find a. So I set up that equation. And then on a separate equation, I take the c and I set it equal to the b pair. And then I should get b, all right? So let's divide our page to get us set up. I've got sine 35 degrees, oops over little a equals sine 120 over 68 inches. I'm gonna cross multiply. 68 sine 35 equals a sine 120. To get a all by itself, I'm gonna divide both sides by sine 120. So a equals 68 sine 35 degrees over sine 120 degrees. This is again the work I want to see. And then we can type it into the calculator from there. We should get A equals 45.037 inches. Okay. 
We'll put that in our answer box, 45.037 inches. Make sure we've got our units on there. And then we're going to go back and grab the C pair and the B pair to find little b. Sine 25 over little b equals sine 120 over 68 inches. Cross multiply, b sine 120 equals 68 sine 25. And almost last step, I'm going to divide both sides by 120. And then plug this all into the calculator, and I should get 33.184 inches. Okay, we're going to put that into our answer box, 33.184 inches. And this, my friends, is how we solve examples. Of this. All right, so that's it for this video. Come on back for the third part where we take a look at something really interesting called the ambiguous case.